This saved my life so much and I honestly don't think a lot of people know this. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla. Today I just thought it would be really cool to show you some things that I've known about Shein and Romwe, the infamous cheap clothing sites that we all see on YouTube all the time. Number one. Number one complaint about Shein and Romwe by the way, which are like basically the same company. If you've ever looked at their website, they have the same clothes, the same size measurement, the same sort of way of doing things, similar shipping, everything's just pretty much the same. As I was saying, everyone's number one complaint is sizing. You get it and you order the size small, but it's small like a large. Instead of going out and getting a measuring tape, which not everyone has, or you're just simply too lazy to find yours because it's like in storage or something, like mine is, take the skirt that you already have really like that length of that skirt you know that you fits your waist perfectly so take that skirt and measure it with a ruler which I'm sure everyone has you can compare it with the skirt on the Shein site and you know it's most likely going to fit you hack number two sorry I'm literally looking at my phone okay so tip number two is check the fabric name and even if you don't do the sizing thing because you're even too lazy to measure with the ruler then I honestly recommend that you do the fabric thing. So the fabric thing, what is the fabric thing that I'm talking about? So basically what you do, you look at the fabric name which they always have. So for example, if you're looking at like a black crop top, make sure that it's not like spandex and I'm sure everyone knows what spandex is. It's like a swimming costume material. So you don't want that. It's gonna look cheap and yeah, we're buying from a cheap website but we don't want it to look cheap. So my next hack, is that you want to make the right choices like scrap out the complicated designs the complicated things like the see-through stuff the fishnet stuff because all of that is really hard to execute and let's be honest they're making it in a factory they're not putting a lot of time to each in each design and that's why it's so cheap so you want to go for things that are really simple to execute because the chances that they probably did that a, a lot better because it took less time than something more complicated. So the next hack, next hack is to definitely wait for when they have free shipping. On Shein, free shipping is only if you order over $55, which is quite a lot. And on Romwe, I think it's about the same. So what you want to do is wait until they have special subscribe to their email list make an account because they will usually email you and be like oh free shipping is over $19 a day which is a huge difference from 55 to 19 so if you don't want to get a lot of stuff and you just want to try it out first and get a few things just to see how you like the site then I would recommend doing that okay so my next hack is the most important hack that you want to do because this saved my life so much and I honestly don't think a lot of people know this maybe they do, maybe it's just me but this is what I would do the thing is I used to shop on Romwe a lot more I started shopping on Romwe years ago so I started shopping on there and they didn't have any reviews so my first couple of packages were definitely a lot more misses than hits but now I've gotten to a point where I get really lucky on the site I hardly ever return things I really love what I buy. The thing is with Romwe and Shein is that they do have the same pieces of items come back in stock all the time. A lot of staple things like a grey jersey or like a black jersey. I highly recommend their knitwear by the way. It's like the best. Their winter stuff, surprisingly, is really good. So there's always going to be more reviews on Shein than there's going to be on Romwe because Romwe just started only started opening up for people to review about like a month ago maybe not even so getting into the last hack you want to take the name of the clothing item you're interested on Romwe copy and paste it exactly how it is and you want to search it into the Google search bar it'll come up with a link to the exact same piece of clothing on Shein and you want to go on that and most likely you might even be lucky and get like 30 reviews on that piece of clothing Seeing reviews obviously will really help because obviously the picture doesn't always look like this piece of clothing. Seeing it on a normal person's body opposed to a Photoshop model. I used to do this all the time when I look at a piece of clothing and I really, really like it, but there are no reviews and I want to just leave it because I know it's probably going to be a miss because I'm taking a risk on it. So what we're going to do is watch She In and Romwe Halls on YouTube tons get added every single day and usually people do order a large amount and people do 
tend to gravitate towards the same pieces, especially if it's a trendy piece. There's honestly an 80% chance that someone has uploaded it and reviewed it for you. That happened to me with a really one of my favorite pieces ever that I got from Shein. Really wasn't sure if this was good because it was like a really risky piece. It was like, as I said, it was a complicated design that you should stay away from. I ended up getting it and I love it. I'm gonna be uploading some myself in the future. If you wanna check those out, watch the space. Thank you so much for watching my first video ever. I hope you learned some things about Shein and Romney. And yeah, bye.